Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I want to give you my final review of Call of Duty Mobile now that it has a proper US release. It's not quite a good, bad, ugly, or as full of a review as I've done before because I've covered this game several times before in beta, but it will share similar elements, which is why I called it the love-hate relationship. Gameplay is all COD Mobile, of course. I'm running it on an older Samsung device with the graphics set to medium. More on that later. And the short version of this review is that I have a real love-hate relationship with Call of Duty Mobile. There are some aspects of this game that I find very fun, that I love or even adore in some ways and I think are fantastic, and then there's some others that are lackluster and mostly some elements that I find incredibly frustrating at a personal level. So we usually start off these reviews with all the good stuff, but today I actually want to start off with the criticisms. I want to start off with the hate. And these are some of the things that I hate about COD Mobile. Number one is the sheer volume of microtransaction items and in-game advertisements. Like, I totally get that the game is free to play and that it's going to have a lot of microtransactions. Like, I get that. We, I think we all understand that. That if a game is free to play, it's going to be selling a lot of stuff. And when I was playing the beta, I was totally on board with what they were selling and how it was going and even the insane amount of customizations, right? However, in the final game, I find myself completely overwhelmed with how much stuff there is not necessarily because there are too many choices but poor choice organization it's there's what well, there's several different shops challenges events limited time modes ranked mode casual mode free currency cod points only battle pass uh, free rewards for watching advertisements which was uh, something that I don't normally do when I play mobile games, I don't play a lot of mobile games, and the advertisement in particular that you're seeing right now actually froze when I was watching it, so I had to reboot my game just to get my one little free crate. And there are just way too many things to keep track of, and I feel completely overwhelmed. Because I, I kid you not, like there are like 20 different events going on at the same time, and if you, you really need to pick and choose which ones you're going to complete other, if you're not going to play all day. I also feel overwhelmed when I log into the game and I get hit by three to four advertisements encouraging me to buy stuff. Uh, COD points, cash back, a, a sale on some item, a, a battle pass sale, some new custom thing, I don't know, but it just hits you every single time with different advertisements. Sometimes when you finish a match and you back out to customize your class, you're going to get hit by an in-game advertisement for COD points as well, or every time you level up your battle pass, you get an advertisement for that. And for me, this is just too much. This is too spammy, too annoying, too overwhelming, and of all things, I've rapidly begun to actually hate Ghost Riley, the main character from, or one of the main characters from Modern Warfare 2 and 3, you know, because of this. Ghost Riley is the guy that talks to you and he kind of walks you through and tells you things, and every single time he pops up, he's trying to get me to spend money, and it's really started making me dislike that character. Maybe I'm just being an old man, maybe I'm unfamiliar with mobile games and out of my depth and experience, but personally, I found it annoying. I found it to be a little bit overwhelming and frustrating. Number two thing that I don't like or hate about Call of Duty Mobile is that multiplayer match quality is garbage by almost every metric. If you think that skill-based matchmaking is giving you out-of-region matches right now in main Call of Duty, you should see what's going on in COD Mobile because there doesn't seem to be any region matching at all and no region lock at all. You're going to play with a ton of people from China, Japan, Korea, South America, a lot of Russians, a lot of people from the EU, got a lot of people from India for whatever reason playing, and there doesn't seem to be a reason for it other than that there's no region matching in the game. There's a lot of players that are playing on 4G or in foreign countries or 3G and the lag can get quite absurd. And for me, the lag is the biggest issue that I wanna talk about in connection quality. I've been told by other people that if you're playing a mobile game, you just need to accept that there's going to be lag and just deal with it. But I, it's still frustrating for me. I don't like playing a laggy game. I'm just told that that's normal for mobile and I'm gonna have to deal with it, but it's not very fun when some people teleport or when your kill cams look really, really weird. A lot of matches are populated by actual bots that behave oddly because if it doesn't get a fill, and it's especially true in your first couple of games you play bots to get used to it, and they just do kind of weird things. They're normally pretty easy, but every now and then they'll just like snap auto-aim, kill you instantly. 
There's a lot of matches that have people playing on PC. A couple of different ways to emulate the game on PC and play mouse and keyboard here. I've been told there's a few ways to add a controller. Controller support is coming for iOS devices at some point in the future, but we don't know about right now. And a fair number of matches I've run into seem to have real people that were also using auto-aim somehow, or maybe the kill cams were glitched. But overall, you just need to expect to deal with a lot of BS when you play regular multiplayer. The connections are going to be weird, people are going to be out of region, it's going to be odd, it's going to be all over the place. I tried to get around it by thinking this is the most casual COD game that I can play, but I still kind of got frustrated with it. The third thing is another frustrating thing, and I think that the control scheme is rough in this game, unless you have some sort of modification to play with. I originally played and recorded my beta videos with the Red Magic 3 phone that had the little bumpers on the side so I can aim down sights and shoot, respectively, and that made my life a lot easier. Unfortunately, that phone can't capture HDMI output, so in order to get good quality videos, I had to go to an older Samsung device that I had, and I also had to sacrifice those bumpers. So now I'm back to using regular controls that like 99% of everybody else is gonna be using. And I feel awkward when I play. I feel like I'm not very in control of my character. I feel like I'm struggling, like I'm fat fingering buttons, like I can't shoot and aim at the same time. That I have to line up my shot and then shoot or maybe move the shooting to the left thumb, which is kind of odd for me. Could just be a learning curve, it's likely probably just the best that we are going to get for mobile. Mobile games, especially shooters and complex ones like PUBG and Fortnite, have difficult controls. And I think that this is something where I'm just gonna have to get good and practice more and get better over time. But I do admit that I don't like dying due to bad controls. I prefer to die due to bad skills, not some awkward control issue in the game, but I'm gonna give it more time and I'm gonna try to get better. There's one major issue for me that I absolutely hate, and that's that there's no inverted Y-axis for aiming. I'm an inverted player, I've been playing inverted on consoles for 25 years now, and I did a whole video on that, which I will link below to explain why some people play inverted. And about 5% of the population that plays shooting games play inverted, so about 1 in 20 people. The in-game controls in Call of Duty Mobile try to emulate a controller. You've got roughly your two sticks, you've got the buttons for the bumpers and stuff like that. It tries to emulate a controller as close as possible, and it's got a lot of options. It's got different uh, hip fire and ADS sensitivities and scaling and customization and gyroscope and just, just a ton of great options for the game. Overall, quite a, quite a lot for a mobile game, but the one thing that it doesn't have is an inverted aiming axis. So I, when I play this game, am essentially relearning to aim from, from just from scratch. I'm having to go against my best instincts and it's brutal. The best example I could give you is the next time you get on your console, go ahead and boot it up and just swap it to inverted and try to play like that and you'll kind of see how I'm struggling. And I think I'm just personally a little bit salty about it because after posting videos on the beta, some people from Tencent and Timmy, the company that developed the developer of the game, reached out to me for some requests of information and feedback. And I sent it to multiple employees requesting the invert look feature because it affects 5% of the population. And basically nothing changed since the beta. I don't think they care. I don't. I would say 5% is big enough to care about, but they don't really seem to, so that's not fun. And overall, my fifth thing that I don't like gameplay-wise, regular multiplayer just doesn't do it for me, guys. Like, the games are shorter. TDM, I think, is to 50. DOM is to 100. All the maps are pretty small ones, and they're all stuff that I've played before, which is only fun for a little bit. I get a little tired of it. I don't like the controls. I find that they're awkward. I find that I can't properly engage in most of my fights the way I want to, and that people lag all around. And honestly, normal multiplayer for me is pretty boring, and I don't really enjoy playing at all. However, I really enjoy the Battle Royale mode. The BR mode in this game, I think is fantastic. I have a lot of fun with it, and I think it's the best thing to transition into the stuff that I love about the game. So yeah, the VR is great. It's fresh, it's fun, it's less punishing on the controls for a couple of different reasons. And this is sort of like the fantasy COD battle royale mashup that we all wanted back in seventh grade. It has a lot of classic ro locations from COD 4 to Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, 2, and some, some of the weapons from 3 if I'm not mistaken. And just a ton of stuff from a ton of different studios all hodgepodge into one big battle royale. And the map is actually really big. The map is just as big as the Blackout map and it's on mobile. Similar design to water vehicles. And it added a lot of stuff that Blackout 
Blackout originally didn't have. I swear Blackout must have copied COD Mobile because even back in the beta they had respawn beacons. Instead of zombies you clear out, there's literally giant zombie dog hellhounds you have to fight. It's called a boss fight. Zip lines like Fortnite, there's vehicles, there's wonder weapons, there's specialist weapons. All of your, There's like nine or ten different classes and each one has different abilities that you can use which gives you sort of a class based BR like Apex Legends. Personally I enjoy playing the ninja class because he has quieter footsteps when he's crouched and he can reposition rapidly with the grapple hook. It gets me in and out of trouble a lot. I think that audio is really on point for the battle royale as well. I can hear footsteps loud and clear just playing on my mobile device and if I plug in headsets and play it's like almost cheating because I have nice 360 surround sound with my Astros you know but that's really well designed I can I can listen to the gunshots and footsteps and get a really good idea of where people are on mobile which I can't say is true of many mobile games and I feel like the game allows me to fight based on good decisions instead of just reaction time so the controls are a little bit rough on mobile. They're always going to be awkward, and the controls are still somewhat awkward in Battle Royale. But in Battle Royale, I can be smart, I can position myself better, I can choose my guns more carefully instead of just grinding to level them up. People can't respawn behind me, I can hear where they are. And in Battle Royale, it's a lot of setup and a lot of thinking and just a little bit of fighting. And ideally, I like to fight when I already have the advantage. So it feels more like a game of wits and less like a game of reaction time, which suits me just fine, especially the mobile. And it kind of plays like a more casual PUBG or maybe like COD's version of Fortnite. But overall, I have a lot of fun in this mode. This mode allows me to overlook a lot of the more basic flaws in the game. And I'm going to try to play it the most moving forward. I probably am going to have to upgrade my devices to get better draft graphics and draw distance, though, because I'm sure that you all you all aren't exactly loving the medium there. Number two is that COD Mobile is 100% free to play Call of Duty and on your phone. It costs nothing. It basically gives you the feel of Call of Duty. It has plenty of content and you can grind for stuff too. If you don't really want to pay for it, there are grinding options. And yeah, I complained a lot about microtransactions earlier and they are prevalent, but they're all optional. Nobody's making you buy them. Some of the guns do have stat changing effects. However, there are guns with stat changing effects that you can get with a free currency, albeit slower. Obviously spending money is going to speed everything up. And there isn't really anything about the game yet that feels unfair or broken, uh, broken or price prohibitive or anti-consumer. And most of the prices for individual things are lower than they are for regular Call of Duty. I thought they would just hammer us with mobile and there's a lot of choices, but each individual thing tends to be pretty cheap. There's just, you know, a lot of it. And overall, there's very little that I can complain about when it comes to the distribution and pricing model. It's This is what we would get if we got free to play COD on PC or console and it works pretty well overall. Number three is that I think graphics and performance and stability are all quite good for a mobile game. As a mobile game, this is never going to look like a PC game, guys. That's just never going to happen. But it looks a fair bit better than most mobile games. And I know that if I play on a different phone and turn it up to very high, then it'll look really good. The frame rate is stable for me. Even Battle Royale is more stable than it used to be. It has a few, it has, it has a few moments, though, especially if you're flying around in a helicopter. And this could be a barely functional mess like old PUBG when it launched or Xbox PUBG. It could be poor frame rate, poor drop distance, mad glitches, broken, busted, but the game launched in a good state and considering how much stuff there is in this game and how well it plays compared to other mobile games even if I have my issues with it, I think it launched in a fantastic state and I think that very few of you are going to have issues when it comes to performance and stability. And there's one one minor love that I want to add at the end. It, it doesn't really objectively stack up against the others, but I do find it fun and I feel that it, it really... Um, it really kind of ties the whole thing together, which is I love that they're mixing Modern Warfare and Black Ops franchise stuff. The Chinese developers just got access to the IPs and they made their own stuff. And there's some stuff in the game that's very clearly Chinese inspired. There's like some English and there's so they don't know what calibers go in what guns because they don't shoot guns there or even what the original names of some of the guns are they're renamed and done stuff with but they also came in with no preconceived notions about what had to be what and they made 
like the best sort of fan sequel to Modern Warfare and Black Ops that you could get. You've got all your guns from Modern Warfare, all your guns from Black Ops, the maps from all the games, the characters from all the games, the, the Battle Royale is all the games together. And it feels like COD Online. Everybody in America wanted to play China's COD Online, and that's basically what this is. You get all of the Call of Duties up to about Black Ops 2, all smushed into one really good package. And for me, that, uh, that little bit of nostalgia and mixing together does do... It does great things, and I really enjoy it. So I want to hear what you guys have to think about Call of Duty Mobile. Have you been playing it? Will you play it? What do you think about the gameplay, the content, etc.? Should I post more Call of Duty Mobile content? Would you guys enjoy watching COD Mobile content? And should I do a COD Mobile in-depth? I, I probably could. Just kind of depends on audience interest. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. And if you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.